and welcome back intrepid travelers to Tahira Echoes of an Astral Empire. Yep, we explored the camp before, talking to all the different characters and taking in the story, which is interesting. It's obviously very grounded in some sort of past, like, history with Babylon and all those ancient Middle Eastern empires, but taking a different spin on it for the Astral Empires and all these, you know, what is it called? Astral projection stuff. Father. 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 Following father. Where did he go? Ooh. The owl lives in the darkness, but it is not consumed by it. She opens her eyes and sees light all around. The forest grows and the fire consumes it. This is a natural balance, creation and destruction. The light and the dark. To find the light within yourself, you must first accept the darkness. Only then will you have balance. Decay is an inevitable part of life. Accept that all things must end, for without endings... We would not have beginnings. This way? Yep. The owl does not impose her views on another. Instead, she seeks balance within herself. An ideology in its purest form is one that does not judge. It simply is. This is a big area. A mind that rejects new ideas and perspectives is not balanced. An unbalanced mind cannot grasp in the mysterious energy that moves constellations. Sweet. There is nothing to fear in the unknown. It is an opportunity for discovery. Once you have balance, you will find the conviction to walk in the light. Balance with darkness and light. Gotcha. If you open yourself to the cosmic swell, you will see the light and understand that it is part of you. Brightness falls, but I do not try and grasp it. Instead, I look closely and try to discern the hand which guides it. Oh, hello. You have come to see me once again, Tahiro. Who are you? Uh, yeah, let's go. Who are you? I don't know who you're talking about. I've never seen you before. Who are you? Then you do not remember me. That is disappointing, but not surprising. Step forward and let us speak together once again. You did not answer my question. I am stuttering heart of the Moribond people, and you, Tahira, are the flame that flickers defiantly in the face of death. I have been called many things. For whatever good it will do you, you may call me Esmal Khalid. A flame flickering, lost in the dark. I have dreamt of that in my darkest dreams. How do you know of it? The world spins and we spin with it. We have had this conversation before, Tahira. But now we are running out of time. I will ask you once again, are you afraid? Say yes. My father and friends are dead. An army wishes to destroy all that lives for my people. A grateful people who do not realize that they should be angry with me for abandoning them. How could I not be afraid? You have grown wiser since the last time we spoke. For the first time, your eyes have begun to open. Yet none of the fears you named are with, from within. What does the flame that flickers mean to you? Destruction of my people? Yeah. Perhaps, but that is not why you see it in the dreams. Until you are ready to confront what it really means, you will walk blindly, lost in the darkness. Stars fall, screaming to the ground. The light shifts and an empire withers. Now an army looks to the heavens and a princess rises. This is your reality. If you choose to accept it, when you do, you will find yourself alone upon a mountaintop. Connected to all that has come before and all that will be, but a slave to neither. Do you understand? 
I think so. Then I'll offer you a choice. You can stay here in the world that you are in, seated on the mountaintop. A part of the ebb and flow of the natural world, to live and to die when it is your time. Free if you want to be. You can float up from the mountain to enter a new realm that you have always known existed, but never understood. Something no one has understood, except perhaps in death. Which do you choose? Um, new realm, mountaintop. Let's go to the new realm. I would float up and experience the new realm that you spoke of. First, you must reach the mountain. But when you do, you will find the choice I offer you has already been made. Made by who and what did you decide? Do not, do you not know as this world spins? We spin here. We have had this conversation before. You keep saying that, but I don't remember you. Next time, you will. The choice has been made by many. Some chose the new realm. Others do not. Let me show you. <laughs> Zoom! Ah, oh, the infinity sign. Must be a certain tear is like a certain spirit or element that keeps getting reborn. Tahira. Are they here, Barati? They're amassing outside the... Kabam! Scouts well spotted. When did you learn to do that? Stars fall, screaming to the ground. The light shifts and an empire withers. Now an army looks to the heavens and a princess rises. Those are prophetic words, Tira. When did you hear them? I don't... I can't remember. I had a strange dream, Barati. It was so clear, but now it's gone. Wait, where's Iba? We took him and the other horses to the top of the town before they blocked the road. Okay, good. Let's get to the others before the assault begins. Follow me. That is a lot of soldiers. Holy shice. None of the scouts have returned, Colonel. These other stunnies have an animal cunning. Are the men prepared for an attack? Nearly, sir. They are still organizing themselves. Colonel Tain, I bring word from General Fromm. What is it, soldier? The army will arrive within the next two hours. He requests you begin a full assault. Good. I've had enough of this waiting. But, sir, they need more time. They've had enough time. We are the Astral Empire, Lieutenant. Those animals will be no match for us. Forward, men! Take this pitiful place they call a town! Here they come. There's a lot of them this time. We'll have to deploy our forces to defend all four roads or we'll be overwhelmed. Remember, we are not trying to drive them back. We just want to hold them here for as long as we can. We can't let them break through the, to the second level. If they do, we'll be trapped. The long grass and buildings will give us good cover for their archers. And those ditches will be perfect to help us move between the roads. Is everyone ready? I'm always ready, Varati. Anything is better than standing here waiting. Agreed, it's been too long since my last fight. My hammer grows restless. Yes, yes it does. In order to better defend Tira, your forces have set up several supply caches, such as these. Each one can be used to fully restore a unit's guard up to three times. To use one, move an injured unit to an adjacent tile and click on the item that appears. Some ambush points in Tira have multiple exits, a unit hiding in one of them. Okay. Yeah. That's my control zone. Gotcha. 
So, these guys are going to come down here. Yeah, we'll definitely need to ambush them. It's 15, so we can kill them with just the claw. What's her special abilities? The hammer and her warriors now fight on, so her fighting style forgoes speed and favor of raw power. All the warriors' attacks stun the targets, meaning that they can often move freely after having been attacked. The warrior also has access to two special abilities. The first, Seismic Slam, AoE. The second special ability, Ferocious Strength. Once a warrior has used this ability, her attack that turn will knock back an enemy unit it hits. So, where's Mr. Claw? Claw, claw, claw. Um. Oh, Alright. I really don't know. There's a lot of enemies. Uh, we're going to have to defend over here as well. I am just going to leave one of you in there. We're going to chuck the claw over here so he can mess up those four people. We're going to move to Hira. I don't know. Yeah, just in here. Oh, I, did, I didn't mean to press ready. I'm sorry. Oops. Oh well. We'll have to deal with that. <laughs> I didn't mean to press ready then. Sorry. Got one back there just for defensive situations. We're going to have to move people. Oh, we've got Tira in there. We probably can deal with it, I think. him here as well. There we go. Oh, all right. I'm not ready for this fight. This looks dangerous. Um, I'll keep them... Oh, I'm going to get archers soon. No, I'm going to keep them there for now. And when these guys get closer, then we attack. We're going to move... We're going to move the... Um, Hammers warriors up to defend here. Barati and her will come on this side. No, she can come over here with them. And Barati comes here. No, we're going to need... I don't really know. We're just going to... These guys are going to wait here for now. And we're going to move Barati up as well. like I'm playing freaking lol again. Got all these creeps moving up we need to kill. Good they couldn't get us with that attack. And they are in a perfect striking formation for Terra as well. Claw. There, okay, we're gonna wait for these people to move one more. Yeah, we may as well start attacking with these guys now. Gals, I should say, gals.
you get the normal attack and this person is going to do the ferocious attack I hit both of them. That works. And yeah, we need to move her closer. I wish she was already closer. I was a bit silly before. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, we've got this side handled. Oh, but we've got all those people there. So, yep. Yeah, we're going left. We've got the claws people on the right to defend. I like the claws people in defensive in the ambush pots more than the hammers group. Just because. Okay, we're gonna ambush. We'll let them move up. Let's see where they go. Alright, now we're ambush time. Peanut butter ambush time! She fires a blast of energy into the sky, which then crashes down and deals damage to all units in a nine tile area. Wow, that's damaging. But it's time for Unfound Blast, because we got a nice row of people. <laughs> Beautiful. Wunderbar! Now those people can wait there for now. There is a lot of people. We really do have a lot to deal with. It's not just a lot of people, but it's a lot strategically to think about. Alright, so... Special attack, pile driver. Good. And you move back for a second. You come forward and pile driver. You come forward as well, and you're gonna kill an archer for me. Well, actually, no, wait. We're gonna come over here and help these people. Yeah. So we can kill one in one shot, which is more helpful, I think. Have you got your attack? No. Just moving into defensive positions. And we're going to bring Barati this way into this group. We've got Claw soldiers there as well. Yeah, it would have been nicer to have her actually in battle already. That's what you get for pressing buttons. Claws people can come out now. Yeah, I don't try to bring the claw out yet or wait for the archer's turn. Because the archers are gonna move in range of the claw as well. And we'll probably be able to kill those two archers in one hit. Would have been so much better if he was in that house. Dang it. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. And... Let's move over here so we can help Claw. Ow. In the back. There we go. Lining them up so they can't get surrounded too easy. Oh good, she can get in place here. This guy's in a really bad spot. I'm just going to bring them out.
Bonk. And where's that ambush sticky thingy? Come on, you. Nice. I feel like we're too spread out at the moment. Yeah, we definitely have to make these guys attack, unfortunately. Special actions. Oh, vicious strike's not going to kill you. Is it? Not unless we get a crit. No. We're going to kill him, though. Come on, the crit! No, not even close. Uh, you can move back. And stealth turn. Who else can come out of stealth? No, we're waiting for him so the archers get closer. Wait for you. Oh, they get another attack. Sweet! That was good timing for them then. <laughs> we get two attacks before they get one of theirs. Nice. That's right, because this guy is going to be able to kill him now with his special vicious strikes. That was very good timing. I liked that. I was moving him back just so the archers can't actually get the fire off. Well, they will still get the fire off, but they have to get closer. All right, we got Tira in the battle now. I'm going to move her here. Just because next turn, these guys are going to move up, these guys are going to move up, and she's going to be able to powerbomb both of them. Called the powerbomb. What's the actual name for it? <laughs> I've forgotten already. Her AoE zaps up. It's nice. We're going to be able to kill all these people too. I'm not going to move up to attack those archers just yet. I'm going to wait till I can get to hear a special move off and once their soldiers have moved as well. Good. Let's screw you. Archer, you're not getting a turn. Because I don't like you. See, die. I love his attack. He just massacres people so easily. Like, you can take out these guys in one hit as well. Such awesome. Oh, we didn't have enough moves left. Dang. That's annoying. Oh, and he's going to miss... Ugh, I should have done it last turn because then he would have got a second move turn as well. But now the soldiers are going to get their turn before he gets another turn. You gotta time it for whose turn it is so you get actually two turns when you ambush. There we go. We're gonna move you back here into defensive positions. We're gonna move you two back a little bit as well. Right, he's gonna come for. Oh no, we'll leave. No, we'll let Barati go back in the ambush spot. There we go. They're ganging up on me again. 
She's going to need more armor. Although they've got the guard boost mechanic, so I don't know why you need... Oh, that guy is in pain. Yeah, we're going to have to move him out of battle. Oh no, they got 11. It's fine. See, look how many people are around here now. This is great. Nine squares around her. It's going to hit everybody. So we did pretty well with this ambush, I think. Even though we didn't have many people actually in ambush. <laughs> Still worked out. If we hit him, that means Claw can kill him next turn as well. And probably that one as well. Nice. A oh, claw could have killed him anyway. What am I doing? I was being silly. I should have hit the person with the most health. Um, you are gonna go over here, so you can go in. Oh, I can't go in there. Damn. I would have had to kill him first. Here, so to here I can't get surrounded. All right, Claw, you're up. Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna go and kill all these guys. Vicious strikes. Bye bye. You are the weakest link. I'm not going to be able to kill the middle dude. Yeah, we'll take the one hit. Because otherwise if we attacked him it would have ended our turn. Because we wouldn't be able to kill him. Oh! One health. Fuck. here and these guys are going to come around but then we can spring Barati on them and that'll work nicely you get your crit now I wanted it for this guy sweet I think you're more likely to get a crit hit when it's just health and here we go Tira's turn so one two three four four yeah, we got heaps of room. Special abilities. Light of Avastan. Nice. Yeah, we're going to hit heaps of them. Oh, it doesn't hit everybody. I thought it was going to hit everybody. We are going to kill these ones first. Gotcha. I thought it was going to hit everyone in that nine squares. That would have been OP. But it just hits... Square. And we're going to get here. Have you still got your other attack? No. She's running out of will. See, we would have been better off with our laser attack, I think. Lasers! Fire the lasers. And we're going to go over this side. Yeah, we're okay. Actually, we're going to kill this group first. Oh, we can't attack. Sucks. Suck to be me. Those archers are nimble. They don't get, like, the ambush hit. 
more often. Alrighty then, let's get in for the attack and the kill. Special sword drive thingy. We're moving back. There. <laughs> and you come in as well. Car driver. Bye bye. Nice. I'm really worried about this group here. That is a big group together. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Oh, Alright. I'm going to move. I think it's best to move here so we can't both get surrounded. I'm going to take the hit, but... Like, I've got too many people are like just one off that are going to get surrounded, so it's better not to take the damage later than get some attacking now. Whoa, there goes your armor. That's right, they're dead next turn, I think. And Claw's going to kill these two, hopefully. The Claw! He's coming to kill ya. Ha uh ha. -huh. Come, brother. Can we... Uh... There we go. Let's see if we can crushing blow kill. We can crushing blow kill. That is awesome. Yeah, that person's getting attacked too much. But your health is lower. Nice, variety. Have we got every, anyone else in our ambush spots? Where the hell are you? Yeah. Screw it. No one's getting back there. <laughs> He's just wasted there. I had one guy back there. I was thinking if they make it past and try to get around, then I would be able to catch up to them. But we can run back pretty quickly anyway, so it's not an issue. And those claw soldiers have like more move turns. Donk. Yeah. No her. There we go, good. And she's stunned, but we're gonna move her anyway. Take the hit because then this person can come in and attack as well. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna. I shouldn't have done that yet. I'm gonna keep this person here. Oh, that was silly. Ferocious skill strength. And then attack because that's gonna push them both back. Whoa! Shame we didn't get the kill, but it works. Oh, you can wait. Wait. And the claw gets turned. The claw, the claw. Oh. Vicious strikes. Nice, we got lots of crits, so he's dead. And then we get to move back here and kill this guy. Or at least help. I don't know if we'll kill them. Yeah, 19. Unless we're lucky with the crits. Oh, <laughs> that was too lucky. Wow, okay. But we don't have any move attacks left, so end wait. And you come down here. We're not going to be able to kill any of these people, so vicious strike. Oh, 
Oh, yep, that was silly. I should have vicious strike this person. I would have been able to kill them as well. Yep, that was dumb of me. Very, very dumb. And then I could have moved him after the killing that person back over here and attack them as well. Oh, we got him. <laughs> lucky crits. I love lucky crits. And move. There we go. And wait. Move and wait. All right, Tahira. Yeah, we'll just kill this one person. I'm really worried about this group over here. It's still quite large. Who's low in health? I think we've done pretty well. I don't think one person has lost their um, guard. Alright, so... Yeah, we may as well kill one person definite. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I didn't see those squares there to move, so that's my bad. Oh, I could have moved someone else anyway. Special action, crush blow. Wait. You're gonna kill this archer for me. No, you're not. Never mind. You're gonna get close to killing that archer for me. Wait. And you are going to kill this person. I'm pretty sure he can kill with that. No. It's very close, but no. Stun them, though. Karachi, no! We can easily kill that one person, but we're going to go forward and she can do her seismic slammy thing. I got the name right. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. It's just, I thought it was going to be the exact squares around her, but it's just the cross around her. And you are going to just kill this one person. <laughs> I like that sound. That's like metal hitting the hammer hitting the metal. The cone heads. Do they have any more reinforcements coming or is that it? Get these guys back into their ambush positions. And we have you, but you can't reach those people. So we're going to get you back in this ambush position here. Just in case anyone else comes along this side. I think we've got one more group left because I saw a few packs there. So one more group is probably it. I'm going to kill you so you don't do... Ah, no. We're going to move to here back. See that person there? Barati's man can take out that one and then move back as well. Oh, 
Pew. Right. You. Oh, I don't want to get you too close to that side. Because there's definitely more units to come. Another archer unit, it looks like. Oh, well, it's better to kill them now, I guess. Rank up! Haha. <laughs> I don't know what the rank does though. <laughs> something, something. Right, we're gonna get Barati in the middle again so he can defend both people. I think got one person left. That's annoying. Bonk! Move here. Go inside, go here, donk this person on the head. It's kind of like an uppercut but with that big giant metal hammer. Move back. And these ladies are going to get into their... oh yeah, we'll come over here. No. Not ambush. Move. Move. Oh, never mind. It's only a spot for two. It's a giant house. How does it only fit two people? That doesn't make any sense. And yet I can fit three in that tiny little wooden structure. And in. 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 Good, we got our ambushes set back up again. We'll keep we'll keep Tahira there because this is a long corridor. No, actually we're keeping her in the middle. I think that's the best thing. get that close. Wait. Come over here. And wait. I don't think the archers can fire at me if I'm behind the long grass too. Obviously not. They need line of sight. send any more people at us? I'm really wondering. You're starting to annoy me, little man. You're starting to annoy me. Yeah, it's just that one archer left. One teeny weeny little archer. Bonk! We've brought enough time down here. Retreat to the rooftops before the next attack begins. Enough, I won't lose more men to these wretches. Get the torchbearers. They can't hide if we set the grass on fire. So they're falling back to the next level. Bah, whoever leads these people knows what he's doing. Men, prepare to move forward and bring up the ladders. All right, we'll leave it here for that battle. That's actually a pretty long battle. So thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Adios.